I think you can, I can sit and do a puzzle for five minutes or an hour or spend a whole evening. It can be on my own or with my husband, but every time there's an element of calm and peace when I'm working on a puzzle. Puzzling ended up being a vital part of lockdown for me and the family. Um, I would never have expected it to play such an important role in our mental health and in our leisure time, but it is something that I will definitely be continuing. I think mental health wise, it can be a really useful tool for people if they're stuck at home or looking for an easy hobby that's accessible to them. For me, puzzling has helped develop patience and I will complete a puzzle now that probably a year ago I would have thought, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. So it's definitely honed my patience. When I'm puzzling, the beauty of it is that it very much clears my mind. I often find it hard to unwind at the end of the day. So with puzzling, it's very calming because I am very much focusing on the next piece and the next area to work on. I like the way it engages the left and right hand part of the brain. I find it quite hard to switch off. So it's really nice the way that you're having to kind of mentally think and physically look for the pieces of the puzzle. There's also a nice end point to it. Working on a puzzle can have a really positive improvement on my mood because I'm able to forget the day around it. So if it's been a particularly stressful work day or challenging with the children, I'm able to then become absorbed with the puzzle and have a really lovely focus. I'd recommend anyone to try puzzling at home, even if they think it's not for them. Um, I would never have considered myself um, as a puzzler until 18 months ago, and now I can honestly say I love it. <laughs>